Hi there to everyone at the ASA conference. I hope you're having a fantastic week. Uh, Richard Harris is my name. I'm an anaesthetist from Adelaide in South Australia. I'm here in my office at the uh, retrieval service where I work. And I'm sending this little video message to say thank you to everyone uh, at the ASA for their kind words and uh, their offers of congratulations for my role in the Thai Cave Rescue. I'm sad I can't be there to join you, but uh, life continues on for me and I uh, have to do a little bit of work occasionally. Uh, but I thought I'd just take a moment to reflect on how I came to be in Thailand and how um, my particular skill mix was helpful for the rescue. Um, I'm 54 years old now and I started obviously as a junior doctor at about the age of uh, 23 when I was an in intern in Adelaide. And, um, but I've been diving as a scuba diver since the age of 15 or so and cave diving since my time at university. So by the time this rescue occurred, I guess I'd become an experienced anaesthetist and cave diver and it seemed like those two particular skills were um, uniquely useful for this particular rescue. Um, most of the, the credit for this rescue really needs to go to the British cave divers and in fact it was one of those guys who first suggested to me or asked me whether it would be possible to sedate these kids to bring them out of the cave and to be honest my initial reaction to that as I'm sure it would be for you would be that's an outrageous uh, idea and it really couldn't be safely done. But um, once I arrived on site and realised that really options were very limited and there was no other feasible uh, plan to consider to get these kids out of the cave, then that was something we uh, put in place. And I guess no one was more surprised than me when, when the, the outcome was successful. So um, what led me to be in the back of a, a cave two and a half kilometres underground uh, anaesthetising children to uh, bring out underwater. Um, it's kind of a long story, I guess, but I was really thrilled and, and really privileged, I think, to, to be able to do that for them. So who knows what opportunities are around the corner for us in our prof profession. Um, you know, things have, have changed for me in a way, and uh, I, I look forward to um, exploring some of the opportunities that might arise from this, like doing some, some speaking at uh, uh, conferences around the world. So yeah, I'm sorry I couldn't be there at yours. Anyway, um, thank you again for your kind words and uh, hopefully I'll get to the next ASA conference. See you later.